Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you how to build an isolation transformer power supply that will supply 110 volts that is isolated from the mains. So, let's get started. So, why do we need an isolation transformer? Well, in most normal wall outlets, there's two prongs. The large prong is neutral, and the little prong is live. Now, the problem with this is if you're doing a project that requires um, the plain AC coming straight from the wall, and you touch a piece of metal that's referenced to live, and you're referenced to ground just by standing on the ground, then this could potentially shock you. So, an isolation transformer, what it does is it isolates you from the mains. It does this using a one-to-one -one transformer. Isolation transformers can be helpful for electrical test equipment, such as an oscilloscope, and they can also be helpful for mains-operated devices that um, do not have any kind of isolation in between their power and mains. It also fixes a huge safety hazard with most electronic hobbyists. So, let's get started with building it. So the first step in building this isolation transformer is to find the isolation transformer. So, when I was looking around, I found this old um, streetlight ballast transformer. This ballast is very large and can handle high amperages. And lucky for me, it had on one coil a 0 and a 100 volt tap, and on the other coil, it had a 0 and a 110 volt tap too. And also, it has a 200 volt tap, a 50 volt tap, and a 25 volt tap, which can be used in uh, many other electronics applications for the future. So to set up this ballast transformer for use as an isolation transformer, you need to sever the two coils. So there will be a wire connecting them, and this will be connected to zero volts as the transformer states. And you sever this wire, and then what you can do is take the wire going from the secondary coil that you just severed and attach another wire to it and this wire will be the zero volt tap for your input voltage. Ballast transformer has a schematic, but the one you may have might have a different schematic. So you'll have to look at the schematic and use it with a voltmeter and plug it into the wall to find the right voltages you will need. Now to build this, first you're going to find a piece of a computer power supply now this is just the cover for the power supply. You're going to need to find a piece of particle board. I need to use a hacksaw to cut this piece of particle board into the right uh, shape. So that way it can fit right inside one of these little computer power supply cases. This will act as our enclosure for our um, isolation transformer. So putting that aside, we're going to first focus on this piece of particle board. So, right here, I have marked out where the transformer will go, and I have drawn it in pencil, and put different screws around the edge of it, so this transformer won't slip and slide around inside the case. As you can see, when I set the transformer down, it fits perfectly. So, next you're going to need to find your electrical outlet. This is going to be the output of your uh, output transformer. So, what you need to do is you first need to take one wire and attach it to the screws, that are attached to one side of the plug. Then on the other side, you're going to attach the other side of the isolation transformer, so that way you have 110 volts out of both of these plugs. You're also going to need to fasten wood uh, pieces to the ends of each um, plug with the screws provided, so that way we can glue it down to the piece of particle board. So now we need to connect this transformer to the wall. Now we're going to do this by using this little connection, which I got from the power supply that I got the cover for. And this connection will ensure that we get power to this isolation transformer. As you can see, I'm using wire caps to attach the transformer to this power supply. Now the switch. Now because I wanted this power supply to have a cover and a switch so I could turn it on, I installed a switch. So I drilled a hole in this piece in this cover and I installed a switch. With I will then glue the power plug to the back with my hot glue gun. You 
You will then need to attach your wires to the switch using a soldering iron. After you have finished the switch soldering, you can then take the box and drill holes in the bottom corners of the computer power supply case. And then you can put screws inside here to finish the cover. And so now you can see that after plugging the power supply in, it works. I flip the switch and the fan turns on. And it's running out of the output of this transformer. When plugged in this isolator, this isolation power transformer supplies 113 volts, which is approximately what the mains voltage is. Even when powering large devices such as this hot glue gun, when I plug it in, it only slightly dips and then comes back to power as soon as the hot glue gun heats it up again. It's only slightly lower, which means this isolation transformer can provide a lot of power to a lot of different devices. This isolation transformer will provide me with a safe workstation when I plug my whole workbench into this. It will also allow me to run my vacuum tubes uh, power supply circuits in a safe manner. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to build a high voltage vacuum tube power supply circuit that plugs into this isolation transformer. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.